The Sleeping Beauty Once upon a time, there was a powerful king with a large kingdom. His queen was amazingly beautiful and he loved her most dearly. The royal couple had everything to enjoy themselves, but they had no child of their own. They prayed to God for a child every day. At last, they were blessed with a lovely daughter. The birth of the princess was celebrated with pomp and show through a grand feast to which the fairies were also invited. When the feast was over, the fairies gave their blessings to the young princess. The first fairy blessed her with matchless beauty, while the second gifted her with sharp wit. The third fairy blessed the child with grace, and the fourth with elegant dance. The fifth fairy gave her the gift of music. Unluckily, the royal couple had forgotten to invite a fairy and it made her furious. Before the sixth fairy could give her blessing, the wicked uninvited fairy burst into the feast hall. Instead of giving any blessing to the lovely princess, she uttered a curse on her. When this child becomes sixteen, she will prick her finger on a spinning wheel and die. Saying so, the wicked fairy disappeared from the scene. The wicked fairy's curse made the royal couple almost crying. Fortunately, the sixth fairy was still there to bless the princess. She said, if ever this lovely child happens to prick her finger, she will not die. Instead, she will only fall asleep for 100 years. But if any true lover kisses her lovingly, she will at once wake up. Though the blessing of the sixth fairy had delighted the royal couple, yet the king decided to do his bit to save his child from the curse. He thought, if there are no spinning wheels in my kingdom, how will my child get pricked? So, the king got it proclaimed that all the spinning wheels in his kingdom should be burnt. His men carried out the royal order strictly and carefully. Sixteen years passed happily and the princess grew up into a charming damsel. Preparations for her birthday feast were in full swing. Playing with her pet dog, the princess came upon a staircase leading to the palace tower. The dog ran upstairs and the princess chased it. Reaching the top, she saw an old woman working on a spinning wheel. She looked at it in wonder. The old woman was indeed the wicked fairy who had uttered a curse on the princess. She came there with the spinning wheel just to prove her curse. The princess asked her, what is this? Come and see for yourself, said the woman. The princess got near it and touched its spindle. In no time, she fell to the floor and went in deep slumber. Seeing the princess lying on the floor, her dog ran downstairs. He went to the king and the queen and whined painfully. When the queen tried to pat and caress the dog, he ran upstairs. The parents of the princess followed him and found their beloved daughter lying in a death-like sleep. They felt heartbroken as they knew that the sleep was to last long. As for the wicked fairy, she was nowhere to be seen. But the good fairy had come to know of what had happened to the princess. So she cast a spell over the entire palace. As a result, everybody within the walls of the palace and on its compounds fell fast asleep just like the princess. Nobody, in fact, was to wake up until the lovely princess did so. From that day on, efforts started to end the spell that the good fairy had cast on the entire palace. Several young men came and tried their luck to do this job and get the hand of the princess, but all of them perished in the thorny briars that had grown inside the palace. Many years had passed when a young prince came there he was very kind, brave and wise. He had made up his mind to save the princess. The valiant prince rode his horse and began to slash his way through the thorny briars using his sword and shield. But his sword could not prove much effective. Just at that moment, the good fairy appeared and gave the prince the king's mighty sword. Lo, he came out victorious in his mission. The wicked fairy had a magic transparent ball. Through it, she could see everything happening anywhere. 
When she saw that the brave prince had been successful in reaching the door of the tower, she got furious. She never wanted that her curse should come to an end and the princess should wake up. So she decided to stop the prince. To prevent the prince from going to the tower top, the wicked fairy sent her most ferocious dragon. The dragon cast flames all around the prince, but the brave prince was mightier than the dragon. He blocked the flames with his shield and killed the dragon with a single mighty blow of his sword. Having killed the dragon, the prince went upstairs and reached the tower top, where the princess was lying lost in deep slumber. Seeing her charming face, the prince was indeed smitten by her charm. He kissed her left hand. The princess was still in slumber. She was under the curse of the wicked fairy. The prince had fallen in love with her. He had made up his mind to marry the princess. In a moment, princess got up and the joy of the prince knew no bounds. Everyone else in the palace also woke up. Before long, the princess and the prince were married with stately pomp and show. The king and the queen were so happy to see their loving daughters quite safe. Festivities were arranged and all the fairies except the wicked fairy were invited to take part in them. If you like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below.